And yeah, you can sneak research ships through. I'm just, I'm just waiting to, you know, do a little cleaner. Oh, there you go. You guys are ready to go. So left or right? I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go right. I'm gonna go here first. Research stations. Hooray! And you know, maybe we'll give it a try. Fleet stance is going to be passive. Go here. Like that. And then go that way. We'll give it a go. So with this update, can you buy out the galaxy in order to win instead of conquering it? That would be nice if it was like the, the Alpha Centauri victory condition. That actually would be really cool. Uh, we can upgrade the central building over here. Which is probably worth doing. Replaces some of the jobs. Instead of colonist jobs to produce a little bit of food and stuff, you get executives that'll make um, amenities and trade value. Which is going to be okay. And that'll be fixed pretty soon. New Earth, I mean, they'll have to move some of their jobs around, but we're going to be fine there. Yeah, so these mining drones are, are not very aggressive, which is nice. I'm still, I'm still fine with having sort of waited this long. It's... I don't know, I guess we could do the same thing here. That actually, hold on, we might have to go the other way around. Another bleeding edge technology discovered. Anomaly yeah. found. Hey, can we monetize this? And you guys are gonna go back to evasive. Construction complete. Oh, what was the technology? Didn't click on it in time, so I don't know what it was. Dang! Um, this is a really cheap biodiversity study. 2,000. More tech. More tech is more good. Shelter upgrade gets rid of the new colony growth debuff. Oh, was there one? Really? Mm. I found something. It doesn't say anything about there being a growth debuff in here. So, I don't know. Zir is done. Terraforming candidate, okay. You can go over here and do that. That's fine. You're in run door. Nearly done. Construction complete. Nice. There's still a lot of trade by Sinistra. I think we do want a star base over here. I think we have to build it in Castor just because it's a choke point. We have to get that going on. All right, you're done there. We've got that. I think I can just go and move the construction ship over sort of in this general direction. Click on research and top of the research menu. See, Oh, yeah, that's right. Yes. Thank you. Forgot about that. And you have a building slot, although you don't have any excess workers. Oh, the ransomers. Log updated. Yeah, sure. We'll run that. That's going to be okay. Um, and you're low on housing. I think what we do is we keep developing districts for now. And that's going to be okay. Uh, queue up a couple of energy districts. I think that's going to be fine. And you guys can auto. Actually, hold on. Research the project in that Prospect system. Prospect analyzed. Well, that was quick. Or someone else doing it. Maybe someone else is doing it. Well, we can always come back. Research complete. Earthkin authorities, identify yourselves. There you go. Who captured you? Of course we'll try to rescue you. Log updated. Don't know where you are, but we'll do our best. So, and yeah, you guys are going to go over to evasive. There you go. I put you on auto explore here. The Wonners are of laid claim to the Sinistra system. It begins. Boom. Boom. We built something. Resource scan complete. What about the population tab? What did you guys want me to do on the population tab? Are you just curious about it? It's growing, there's different classes. I don't know. Remember what Admiral Akbar has to say about the ransomers? What you think it's a trap? <laughs> Found something. All right, keep on researching. Boom. 
We built something. He likes to say boom for a lot of things. We do... We have some money. We could clear some of these, but it's not really a priority. Um, we're making tons of minerals. We do have a cap of 10,000. Although, again, we can just sell things, so that's kind of okay. Ransomers, best laid plans. Captives need to be ready. All right. Taking all these Earthkin ships. Try not to blow us up on the way out. Wait, is it, was it here? Oh, it was. I didn't even realize I was going to the system with the Rath and Ransomers. Planetary exploitation forecast complete. And we've met some IOTA aliens. Let's uh, say hi to them. We got a gigantic skeleton. That's a new project. Ransomers picking up the pieces. Uh, if they made it to like both, they should be attempting to hail us by now. Hey, they made it. Welcome home, jailbreakers. There we go. Ends the chain. We get a bunch of influence. And we get the Savior modifier for 10 years, giving us 10% happiness. That is great, because happiness modifiers are a lot harder to come by than they used to. We keep expanding this way. You're going to go over here. Mm -hmm. Has a little bit non-Megacorp changes to the planet tiles, jobs, factions. Oh, like if you don't have Megacorp, um, basically everything, everything you're seeing is 2.2. So obviously there's be no corporate tab. Um, and the other thing is once you get the galactic market, um, there's no slave market if you don't have Megacorp. But honestly, like... 99% of the changes you're seeing are really the, uh, the 2.2 stuff. Um, oh, I did not repair you guys after the fighting of the Ransomers, but I think we're gonna be okay. Anomaly detected. Seen any fun and unique flavor text for other planet features? Um, I mean, the Earth ones were all excellent. Uh, the rest of the others so far have mostly seemed kind of generic, but I haven't all, I also haven't checked them all, sort of, you know, Boom. consistently. Something. You go and research the projects over Prospect here. Analyzed. Oh! Yeah, I don't... We could return something to the Wonners, and we could get some influence from that, which is honestly probably more worthwhile than minerals right now, because we're we've got minerals coming in our butts. Um, it's a medical condition. Please, you know, don't ask. Um, but at the same time, screw the wonders. It's just going to take the minerals and displease them. I don't care. They started it. Target market we do expand. have to finish it, though. Um, oh, influence from communications with the Risen Covenant. Hello, Risen Covenant. This is one of my custom races. They have a syncretic evolution thing going on. Uh, peace be with you. Castor over here. I am going to go and get you a trade hub, and then I'm going to get you a hangar bay to help protect the trade over here and give you a little bit of defenses against the Warners. Um, yeah. 100 influence and goodwill, unless they're dicks. <laughs> the Warners are kind of the worst. I actually have a um, an empire called the worst. We might meet them in this run. Rural world over here. You do have a building available. Um, but we have, like, we have six open jobs already, so we don't have to rush to build this building. And we are now officially capped on minerals, so let's do a big mineral sale. I could literally just dump 10,000 at once right now. Although, eh, no, because we'll, we do build them back really fast. We're gonna need some minerals for building some of this stuff here, but we do get it really quickly. We'll just do 5,000 for now. It's going to be okay. Is there anything we need to buy? Not really. It might be nice to have more alloys, but I think we can just wait for now. Mm -hmm. There's still a chance... There's some default races that are also in the, Prospect like, must-exist list. So not all the races complete. in the game are guaranteed to be ones that I have made for various reasons, but most of the ones we meet should be ones that I have made. So you are going to go ahead and build that. And, I mean, this is not the greatest system, but, again, it connects to more stuff, so that's going to have to be okay. Prospect Got a little red planets here. T size 22, Tomb World. <laughs> supply ship? What supply ship? I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, we could return the supplies, but no. Tough. Tough patooties. There's the trade hub coming in now, which means we collect that trade, and I will put in an off-world trading company. Just to keep that coming in. Good long-term investment, unless the base gets blown up. Now, let's make some more. How are we doing here? You, yeah, Anomaly plenty good found. on jobs. Hey, can we monetize this? And you? You're nearly full on jobs again. Like, or you need workers. 
You need jobs, yeah. And some housing. So I think we are going to plop down some more districts. Um, let's get some agriculture. Because that is starting to get hammered a little bit more. And staying above a 1,000 is good because we want to be able to keep running planetary growth like this. Oh, we get some primitives. Excellent. And the Risen Covenant over here. Who don't like me because I'm a materialist. Guys. Construction complete. We're going to have a problem here. No one's going to let us open branch offices. I mean, there's got to be someone friendly out there somewhere, right? Right? Anyone? Bueller? I found something. We're now above our administrative cap, which is fine. Try to rush habitats since you have so few habitable worlds. That's a good point. So we'd want to keep going up Frost the starbase tech until we get star fortress. And then we can get the void something idea. The prince. No, it's a book. Ah. Log updated. Yeah, all right. Construction we'll go ahead and research that. That's fine. Construction complete. Let's go there. Um, fleet. Found. Hey, can we monetize you're not this? really damaged because most of your defenses are shields. Uh, let's leave it for now. I'll figure out the next scientist soon. I think I can go and clear the system okay. And yeah, they're not leaving any debris behind, which is a little bit annoying. Yeah, I think it, I think it is a reference to Machiavelli. You made many, many, many mini races. Yeah, you I did. Something. I do have some friendly ones though, but clearly not enough. And I do really like the spiritualist trait, so a lot of my races end up being spiritualist. So this connects up. So we definitely we would like to grab everything up to Ooh, Matar over here, we so we can something. backfill this. Minimize again how many sort of back doors we've got coming into our territory. Acquired. Construction complete. Move to there. <gasps> Powered exoskeletons! You guys, it actually exists in the game! It's there! Oh, I'm so happy! We need to research this so that the robot tech comes up. Oh, at least it's cheap. Uh, right, you still have a building, but you have Research you have too many empty job slots already. Ooh, Matar is going to be a pretty sexy little system over here, so we definitely want to work our way up there. Um, you're going to be automated some more. It's going to be okay. You're going to go through the territory. They don't like me much. I expect we're going to get some closed borders at some point, but, well, we'll deal with it when we get there. Boom. Time project for, something. oh, some debris over here. Planetary exploitation forecast complete. So, actually, let me grab this science ship and then send you over this way and then survey it we did lose a few ships planetary exploitation forecast complete we got some more vessels over there um maybe i will send you back to repair somewhere and try Resource to rebuild scan it. complete oh you're gonna go through there um you hmm I mean, that definitely, that clearly is the closest. We are going to want to build something here to collect this stuff. One, two. So if you have two defensive things, you'll reach out to here. So maybe we build it in Zarem. So it'll go one, two. All right. There's not much trade value over there. I guess that'll work out. So you uh, are not going to do this because I don't have the goods, except I can easily buy a bunch. Let's do that. Get you upgrading. And yeah, the fleet, you're going to come over here. Prospect analyzed. So we can grab the last on this side of diplomacy. Increases trade protection for trade routes by five. Very handy. Just automatic five trade protection everywhere instead of just two. Mm -hmm. Crystals, quill, quill. I mean, the crystal tech is nice, but we had to take the robot tech. I mean, come on. 
Research robots. Complete. We the did. prince is legible. We can gain influence. Uh, we can refer return it to the owners, the Shree and Cat Empire, who are big jerk faces to me. Um, or we can go and trash talk them. I don't know what happens if we just shit talk them. I'm thinking we'll just take the influence. We do have a lot of influence. Whatever, let's shit tech. Uh, the written word is the tool of liars. No. In fact, we think it's bad. The only surviving copy of the prince. Yeah, no, it, it's shit. You can't criticize our literature. You'll regret this. Haha, <laughs> bookworms. Uh, book burner opinion modifier toward. So we just made them more angry. <laughs> we built something. So you still have the building slot, but yeah, the workers. You need your pop to go up. And you do have this building at least, the gene clinic, which is increasing pop growth, so that's good. All right. I'm definitely going to expand to at least Imagine my top. Imagine the profit margins on this tech. Here, you can just research it. It's fine. I know some people are like, oh, you can't expand that much because, you know, you're a, a, um, a, a corporation or whatever, and, and empire size. But no, it's like 70 is just the point at which you start to pay slightly more for research and, and whatnot. Um, oh, Stangton Ascendancy. Holy Guardians. Peace be with you. Um... It's not, it's not actually like a hard cap in any way whatsoever. It's just the way, it, it get, it's the way the game has always worked. Um, I mean, this is rare. I don't know if we're going to use the Chemical Bliss Living Standard, but mostly I always take something that's rare. Even the Fleet Command Limit would be kind of nice. Screw it, it's rare, we gotta take it. Not much change to diplomacy at this time, no. Uh, Diplomacy Remake is probably something that's coming in the future, uh, but it had to wait until after this patch because this patch completely changed how everything in the game works, so it had to happen first. So we don't want to expand indiscriminately. I'm happy to go and grab the sector over here, um, but after that, we, we do want to, like, we you know, not go crazy, but grabbing up to Matar over here, like, these two systems are hugely valuable. Really nice. And it means there's only one choke point to enter Ooh. into our empire instead of two we different ways someone to come into it. So it's very valuable for us to grab up to this. We may not prioritize backfill really too fast, this though. Tech out of the like, Unar is good, but these other two are suck. All right, more physics research, good. FDL inhibitor is always nice. More, better reactor is always good as well. Um, I'm really keen on these gravitic sensors, though. We can get a lot of extra information from this, and it makes our ships better. We don't need to rush the research complexes right now because it just turns consumer goods into research. Quite a bit of research. This is the upgrade over our existing research buildings, um, which we also need the gas to be able to run it. So um, I think I'm going to go for the sensors. It's it's good all-around upgrade to a lot of stuff on our ships. And we could put the listing post possibly on the edge of some of these empires. We will see. Okay, right, this is built. Uh, I do want one trade hub so that you reach Zir, and then you will have a hangar bay for some um, trade protection. You are being repaired right now, which is great and lovely. We will want somewhere here to have... <gasps> we met the, the sentient waffle irons. They'll be nice. The sentient waffle irons, the rogue servitors over here. Oh, they're going to be fantastic. Because they like organics. Right away, non-aggression pack. Sentient waffle irons. Oh, way down here. What's up, dudes? We have mutual rivals. Screw those cat people. Um, except I can't form a commercial pact with them because they're just alt consciousness. <laughs> the first friendly people I meet. I can't. Uh, that's all right. We'll probably like mutual defense or something. We'll go and smack around the cats. Oh, the cats are completely pinned in. Look at this. They have no way out of their space. And they haven't even taken this territory here, which has got something scary in it. Ah! We may have to do some ideological warfare. If we can make these guys, like, both the Risen Covenant and the Wonners not be spiritualists, that's a definite possibility. Um, we are pacifists. Now, we're not fanatics, so we don't have to be defensive only. But we don't have unrestricted warfare. But it means we might be able to do um, ideological changes. Get some she aliens. We'll check them out. Oh, I don't think it... Clipped. There you go. Bit of an autosave, I think, that happened there. Complete. Uh, we do want to grab Chatlib because it is the, the bottleneck into this sector here, and it's actually a really strong system. And again, 
We're good here. Oh, you're starting to run a little low on amenities. So we'll want to do something about that soon. We'll probably wait until a building slot opens up and do that. Actually, you're a little lower too. Probably the next thing we build in this system actually might be more amenity generator for Alpha Centauri stars. Prime. Anomaly found. Waffle hey. Ascension Irons no longer rivals this? with the Serene Cat Empire. We had one thing going for us. One thing. <sighs> and now they're no longer rivals. Uh, this is going to be a high value system later once we get the tech to um, use volatile moats. But I don't think we have to rush to take it right now. I'm going to move you over here because I definitely want to expand in this direction. Construction complete. Oh my god, our, our non aggression pack broke. At least we do have some trust. I'm pretty sure. Oh no, it's decaying. I don't even have to guarantee you're independent. Like, I can't open businesses with you, so I don't really care. Son of a... We need friends. Um, I guess we'll do the derelict ship. Ah! Wow. We really hit this tech out of the ballpark. All right, we finally have the powered exoskeleton tech research. Now, are we actually going to get a robot tech immediately? We did. We also have the moat stuff, which would be great, but we have to finally go. Listen, it only took 20 more years of gameplay. But we can finally start re researching robots. We just got really crummy luck with the uh, the tech RNG. Boom! We built something. All right, so that's there. That's there. You are gonna get a off-world trading company. Excellent. Uh, you are all reparated, which is nice. Uh, you do have some ships that are still coming, but that's okay. We're gonna go and meet you over there. You've got a new skill. Good for you. We did it. Whoa! We're Captain Minerals. Stop. I think we want crystalline study. Log updated. Um, you know what? Uh, if I do this, I'll overcap. There you go. We'll do that. Here. We'll spend some of it on a bunch of alloys. Planetary exploitation forecast complete. Should have played subversive cap. Cult, yeah. Do, do, do. Science ship over here. You have some sort of research project available. Zack Plot Warrior sighted. Okay. Oh my god! They're the scariest race in the universe! They're going to kill us all. <laughs> uh, so we'll check where they are on the map in a second. But you know what? We might, if we get to a position where we generate tons of money, we might be able to really send out the bribes against people, which would be interesting. The Deathkin Protectors, I think you're using one of the new, um, the new Megacorp flags. Research complete. We did it. All right, you've got that. You go on automatic. Construction ship over here. Please build me this. Thank you very much. Okay. So yeah, expansion's still good. Yeah, so I'm not rushing to do Bernard Star here. It is nice that it's a size 20. The low habitability sort of sucks. And if I wasn't playing a Mega Corp where the expansion penalty is a little bit higher, I probably would grab it. But as a Corp, you really want high value targets. And for Alpha Centauri is not huge at a 14. But, I mean, we needed one other colony. Um, so yeah, we you do have the building something. slot. I think we are going to have to get you more amenity things. Boom! I found something! So, I'll probably build a hollow theater over here. Uh, or am I? Here's the thing. All these districts have a one-to-one -one ratio between housing and jobs. We need a few extra jobs over here. Maybe building a luxury, um, residence actually makes sense. Gives you a little bit of excess housing for your workers that are in here if you don't build city districts. It gives you amenities without having to work on it or convert things. Broken Cybrek, Warforms, okay. Like, I don't know, I haven't I haven't decided like the, the right path there, but I think this is gonna be okay. What about alloys? I mean, we have, we have, you know, we don't have a crazy amount of alloy generation, but we have other priorities for the buildings to keep, like, the, we need to keep the colonies healthy. But we have this, and at some point we can get the alloy upgrade. It's a real world now? It is, yeah. Which is actually nice. Worker output, 2%. So these are all the workers that are going to go here, and that's probably going to continue to be the fact. 
we'll, we'll continue to do this, but I think one luxury resource er, residence Ooh. is still going to be good. We, uh, we may as well go and clear all these blockers right now. Give us more flexibility down the road. No blockers on your right? No. Nope. First fleet is over here, engaging some ancient mining drones. Yeah, allies are fine. And we got, like, infinite money. Uh, yeah, I... We have been spamming, so we got promote growth there, so the one in Alpha Centauri went away. I don't know if we get a notice when it goes away. But there we go. Stranded Scientist. Wreckage on the asteroid is the remains of a vessel belonging to now stranded scientist, Ross, identifying themselves as belonging to the hitherto unknown species. Yada yada yada, explains collision was due, malfunctioning center, yada yada yada. Scientific knowledge without equal. So, should we join and share her technological knowledge? Or leave her? Is it li literally just we've got a new scientist leader? Just need to give it a bit? Okay. I'm <laughs> like, I know I'm blind, but I'm really not seeing it. All right, you go repair somewhere. And here, build your last ship back up. Anomaly detected. Oh, there we go, shared knowledge. Our research into technologies is furthered. Oh, that's cool. So that's what that one does. Post our physics research this new heights. Pause, some pause. Um, the tree hive, we've met them. You can research that, new contact. It's another hive mine, so that's good. Peace be with you, the tree. <laughs> um, subspace centers got researched. Oh, did it just like give us text for free and synchronized defense? Oh, that's nice. Trade deal, these guys are just giving me money. Do you like me or are you scared of me? Are you scared of how much you like me? Well, you know, you hate me, you just gave me money, just period. They are willing to do non aggression pact. Their fleet, hold on. Their fleet power is superior, but they're giving me money and are good with a non aggression pact. All right, we're not gonna like each other, we're rivals. Don't question it. Construction complete. <laughs> okay, construction ships are out and active, which is great. You're almost done over here. After that, you're gonna come complete. there. Life electric. So this is an asteroid covered with pull-to-pull -pull web light network of electrical impulses. Oh! Is this the system where, like, if you grab it, you get all the, like, the drones that go crazy? Maybe not. Oh, plus one skill level. Might be wrong about that one. Hmm. Curious. I have debris. And jaundice. Yes. We'll get there. Yeah, tell you what. And we need to survey it as well, so let's get you started this way. And like that. Boom. We built something. You did build something. We need to continue to build something over here. Big old mining station. Thank you. Very weird asteroid belt with the crystal asteroids. Anomaly detected. I mean, mostly feeling okay. We don't have destroyers and everything yet, so like, if, if a war started now and our opponents had stuff like that, we might find ourselves in a bad situation. Oh, Periquim here needs, um... Right, it was going to build all defensive stuff to do like mostly anti-piracy effects, mostly. We've got a couple of hangar bays because they're really strong for that. Um, and then we might get like... Just the disruption field generator or something. Maybe I'll, I'll wait. Because there's no immediate point to it. 